writing the equation of a rational function given its graph. All right, these problems are directly from Alex. I want to talk about these problems because they're, they're interesting and they're good for brain development. In these problems, you're given a graph and you're told to choose one of the following options and then fill in the blanks. That sounds a little intimidating, but we're going to make it okay. We're going to start with taking the information that they give us and just deciding what that means. So below is the graph of a rational function f. It has vertical asymptotes 1 and 5. So we have x equals 1 and x equals 5. We know that vertical asymptotes come from making the denominator 0. So that's going to mean that x minus 1 is in the denominator and x minus 5 is in the denominator. So our function should look a little bit like this. Right away, that allows us to cross out some of these guys. So it can't be this first one. It can't be this one. But it could be any of the other three. We can't be these guys because there's only one factor in the denominator. Next bit of information we're given is that there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. We know that horizontal asymptotes come from comparing the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. So the degree of the numerator, when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, we have that there, I should just like skip to that page. Hold on, let me come back to this. Here we go, right here. This is what you need to look at. So. When the degree of the denominator is less than the degree of the denominator, there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Clearly, there's not. that. So if we look back here, it can't be that the degree of the numerator is 2 because the degree of the denominator is 2. And if they were, if this one was less than this guy, if this were degree 1 or degree 0, that would be a problem because uh, that would mean that their degree that we had a horizontal asymptote at zero, not two. So we know it cannot be this guy here because that has a horizontal asymptote at zero, as does this one. This one has a horizontal asymptote at zero, so it's degree one versus degree two. We know we have to be looking at this guy down here. So the degree of the numerator needs to equal the degree of the denominator. By the way, this is our function f of x. The next bit of information that we're given is that the graph has x-intercepts at 3 and negative 1. We know that the x-intercepts come from the numerator being set equal to 0. Why is it not scrolling? There we go. Come from the numerator being set equal to 0. So these factors come from the numerator. We should have x minus 3 in the numerator and x plus 1 in the numerator. Okay. Again, these come from when the numerator is equal to 0. So if 3 makes the numerator 0, x minus 3 is the factor in the numerator. Okay. We know it's this guy down here, so I'm going to put an a right here for now, and then I'm going to put my x minus 3 times x plus 1 in here. The last bit of information that we have that we were given is that it passes through the point 2 comma 2.
these are X and Y values. And, you know, I could, instead of calling him F of X, I really could call him Y. That would do the same thing for us. If I plug, if I plug two in for X and two in for Y, I will have enough information to solve for A. So we get that 2 is equal to A times 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So we get over here, these negatives, there's a negative on top and bottom, they cancel. These threes will cancel. We get two is equal to A. So instead of A here, there is a two. And that is our final answer. Beautiful. I guess I should call him F of X now because that is truly what his name is. Let's go ahead and look at one more of these problems. We're going to do the same thing, same type of process. Okay. Here, we have vertical asymptotes at 1 and negative 4. Having vertical asymptotes at 1 and negative 4 means that in the denominator, so we're looking at f of x equals. In the denominator, come on, scroll out x minus 1 belongs in the denominator, and x plus 4 belongs in the denominator. That means that this guy is out of the running and this guy is out of the running. This time, there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. This means that the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So here we have, all of these have degree, all of the leftovers have degree two in the denominator. All right, these are degree two. Um, here, this is degree zero in the numerator, degree one in the numerator, degree two in the numerator. So if the degree of the numerator needs to be less than the denominator, that means that this guy down here is out of the running because they have the same degree in the numerator and denominator. The next bit of information that we are told is that the graph does not have an x-intercept. No x-intercept means the numerator never equals zero. So it should be just a constant in the numerator. It could also be that it's an unfactorable quadratic, but that's not happening in these problems. We're not getting that fancy. This is going to mean that the numerator is a constant, which is just a number. That means this guy is not in the running anymore. We're looking at this guy here. There's just a number up there. We're also told the information that it passes through the point two comma one. This is an x value. This is a y value. So let me go ahead and make some replacements. y is 1, x is 2. We get 1 is equal to a divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 4 is 6. One is equal to a divided by 6. 
I can multiply both sides by 6 to get 6 out of the denominator. And I get 6 is equal to A. So 6 goes in my numerator. And that, that is, that's it. That's how we do it. So these problems take a little bit of, you know, thinking through and stuff, but I, I know you're capable of doing it. I believe in you guys. Uh, take your time with these problems. If you have questions, email me. Otherwise, I will see you in another video at some point soon. <laughs> All right. Bye.